Hi everyone. Uh, I am driving from High Road Tottenham NW15 to Elephant and Castle South London. So basically from North London to South London N15 to SE1 Elephant and Castle which is about six and a half miles it's a night drive and at the moment I'm on high road don't know. it's gonna take me roughly about half an hour it's about ten past four in the morning November 2018 November the 9th 2018 right. We are at the moment on a junction of Stamford Hill so we are coming up to the moment on this The amazing thing driving this time of the morning in the city of London it just traffic is the roads is so especially this is a major road so you get some traffic but if you drive in around inner roads small roads off roads and it's such a quiet The thing about driving in London now is, you know, you hardly can't even speed, you know, the speed limit has been changed most of the areas into 20 miles an hour. And then you get the, you get the traffic cameras all over the place. So even a major road have 20 miles limit. And you have the speed cameras, so it makes it a bit difficult to drive. Because if you're not used to it, you know, if you're not used to doing that kind of speed, suddenly you realize the car front of you, why is it slowing down? You're not aware of it, he knows there's a camera out of him, and you sort of stuck behind this person thinking, oh, what's he doing? Basically slowing down for the cameras. Right, so I'm thinking which way should I go take the route. I could take Holloway Road and go this way, or I could take well, I'm thinking um I could do literally go through Camden. But to my gut instance I may be doing I'd probably do A10 and go to Kingsland Road, yeah. Do A10 and do go through Kingsland Road. That's, that would be a better option. We're in Kingsland Road, uh, heading towards Shoreditch. So, another two and a half miles away, then we'll be in Shoreditch High Street. 
fascinating thing if you look this time of the morning hardly you know, there's still a few shops open 24 hours of shops there are some of these grocery shops and even some cases you have the kebab places open and uh, Kingsland Road East London is known for a lot of Turkish restaurants and kebab houses A lot of these shops still open. A couple of hours time from now, these streets would be buzzing. Well, this is a, a major route. So you can imagine, come 8, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, everybody start to go to work. Even before that time, he gets busy. So I'm thinking, if I go straight onto Shorties, then I'm going to go through Liverpool Street and We end up in, you know, if I go down Gracechurch Street and end up in London Bridge, uh, it's, it is an empty route and it's fast route, but, you know, it'd be more interesting because it's hardly, when I, when you drive to drive through the city, there's hardly anything, so you go all this glass building all over the place so I'm personally thinking switching my route going slightly different route and capture Tower Bridge would be a cool and nice scene in the morning so I'm thinking of doing going to Tower Bridge rather than London Bridge near Shoreditch, Shoreditch High Street. This part of the town, it was run down years ago, it's sort of improving now. They're building new flats and housing and all sort of stuff going on. And recent years, Shoreditch has become a club scene for a lot of young people. So you have you get a lot of clubs around here, nightclubs and discos and what have you. There's always a people, especially early hours of evening, not late, not early evenings. You know, early evening, most of them bars are packed here. Now on, I'm on Shorted High Street now. to turn into I'm gonna take this route rather than going straight on I'm gonna go left and take I'm 
gonna go through commercial street. Now this is another area. It was run down years ago. There used to be a, a massive vegetable market, Spitalfield vegetable markets moved outside London. Well, it's in Leighton, about a couple of miles away from here now. They moved there and changed it into fashionable scene. You know, you get a lot of fashionable cafes and restaurants and what have you opened up in this area. Literally going through a transformation. So ahead of me is Whitechapel, Whitechapel High Street, Oldgate High Street, and Whitechapel. So what we're going to do? We're just going to go straight on there we go and this traffic light here is on the, on the right hand side all good at all gate high street on your right hand side left hand side to go towards Whitechapel and We are driving through Lehman Street now. And we'll turn into we'll turn right into Fresco Street. Right, so we are literally in front of Tower Bridge, yeah. There we go, ahead of us is Tower Bridge. Let's pull it forward a bit. There we go, that's a light as you can see the light of Tower Bridge. Okay, let's do the normal, let's put it up a bit more. In case so we are actually driving on Tower Bridge now. now this, you have to be very careful, the speed limit at 20, dead 20 here. Look at this world famous bridge, and hardly a soul about it. Hardly no one come daytime, maybe hundreds and hundreds and Thousands of people passing through this bridge, you know, the footbridge, walking over the footbridge on the left hand side and the right hand side. So I'm, I'm driving from east to south, east side of the town to the south side of the town. side of the town um, I'm almost uh, this area is called it's obviously Tower Bridge Road but it could be also known as Bermondsey South East London it comes under Bermondsey 
or the council, Satak Council, comes in the Satak area. Right. So I'm actually heading, driving towards Elephant Castle, going through Tower Bridge Road. It's quite fascinating when you get the, the glare of the traffic lights hitting the, the camera. Well, I'm using, a, to record this, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, one of these, you know, very old phone. But it does the job, it does, it takes quite good videos, it takes quite very fantastic photos, I think. Is HD. Uh, I think it's eight or ten megapixels, so it's really, really good. Right. I'm on the roundabout of Black uh, Bricklayer's Arm. On my left hand side is A2. You can go up to towards Kent up towards Dover Channel Tunnel A2 M20 A20 that way and we are taking A2 on zero which is not far now Almost there. The transformation Elephant Castle is going through is unbelievable. What it used to be, what is now, is two different worlds. Really, really two different worlds. It's amazing the buildings and the infrastructure they're building this area, really regenerating the area big time. So, I'm almost there now. On the left hand side, it used to be Hagen State, the big massive council flood. Now there are private housing going on there. And ahead of us is the, the famous Elephant Castle roundabout. But it has changed in such a way. If you're new to it, if you are coming new in this area or driving new, your sat now may not work because they re rerouted the plan, they shut the the roundabout, they made it into sort of like a kind of funny shaped roundabout where the sat now still after and about three years or four years now still doesn't work. Right, so we almost here. I'm gonna go right a bit and take that famous roundabout right if you like watching these kind of videos please make sure click like subscribe and comment button hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this one and all of my other videos and hopefully I will load a few more so once again my journey ends here at St. George's Road Elephant and Castle, thank you so much for watching.